Hello, my beautiful Leo Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your April 1st through 15th, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Leo, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And I want to thank you in advance for the likes and subscribes, because when you hit that like button, you help to send me out to the great and powerful Google algorithm that will allow others just like you to enjoy these beautiful readings. So thank you in advance as we move into our beautiful energy. Ooh, big magic, Leo. Looky, looky, we got the moon and the star. So the moon is the energy of manifestation. This is where you focus and set your intentions which means meditation is the number one way to do this. If you set in your energy of meditation and you open your energy to create the open energy of removing all blockages, allowing yourself to use the power of your focus and your connection to source to draw in what you want to achieve, pouring it in through the divine light. So chakras align, it arcs over, and then moving into the beautiful energy to be able to transfer this energy into what you want to bring into the natural. As you focus, the more focused you get and you dial that energy in, this starts the divine timing that you see at the bottom here. So allow yourself to do this. It will be to your benefit. Then we have the star card. So once you're in the alignment, then you get in this grand energy of your higher self connecting to your soul star. This is a yes from the universe for you to have what your soul desires. So when you're in this divine focus, you really activate the big guns. So allow yourself to do so. This is also the Aquarius Major Arcana for those of you who are keeping score. So let's see what else we have, my darling Leos. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, don't overthink it. This is about creating, not about logic. We have to let go of logic because miracles are not logical and we're calling in that miraculous energy to manifest. So stay focused and don't try to make it make sense. A, A, A plus B doesn't always equal C. And we're not going to make ourselves force that outcome. The universe will give us a better one. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we got some really good cards here. You saw that 10 of cups as the last one, and these all jumped out. So let's see what we've got. The hanged man. Um, this is meditation. This is where you're brought to the higher frequency of your crown chakra, which means you're sitting still and you're allowing yourself to go to the greater observation booth of the beautiful energy of all of all the existence of, in everything you could see. All things, all knowing, all divine energy of the Akashic Record connecting to that is very important. It's your number one task here. Oh, hello. There's the star card. We saw it earlier. Soul's desire being granted. So it's echoing again. Meditation is key. Get yourself in that place of setting your goals in your mind and focusing on them solely. Don't let anything else be part of it. Just be focused on the end result. Lightning strikes suddenly out of the blue. The Knight of Swords. So it's very fast moving. As soon as you connect, you'll be given all information. So make yourself ready. And you got a double portion being given by the seraphim. These are the beautiful seraphim. They are representative of salt, sulfur, and mercury. They are elemental angels. They are also considered um, mind, body, and spirit in the more uh, conventional religious belief. But this is the energy of being poured a double portion as your cup overflows. We'll receive that. We have the Nine of Pentacles, which is your energy to allow yourself to focus on creating your own best possible outcome. When you're in the Garden of Eden energy, you become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And I use the statement, thank you, universe. I know that I know that I know that you will provide everything I need exactly when I need it every single time. The universe is continuously conspiring in my favor. 
I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. So that means I require no proof that it's out there until it shows up. And that's where we have to be patient. It's out there. It just has to materialize in our, in our life here. The Eight of Pentacles is allowing yourself to be very studious and pay attention to the details for what you want to master. You must focus on, and that's what you're doing in order to do so. You bring in abundance while you do it. And even though it may take a little longer than you want it to, just be patient because this is where it's saying it's here particly. It's here. In the, in the energy, it's here. It just has to magnetically bring itself together and form into something that you're trying to manifest. It's being worked on. Ooh, boom. We have the sun card. Is it ever being worked on? So there's an opportunity of a lifetime. First card in your career in finance. You know the sun card is a very happy card. And the ten of cups, if you're looking for a place to live, it looks like this is a very serendipitous moment. Because this is the absolute, uh, the absolute alignment of your best possible outcome and your best possible outcome. <laughs> so, yay, Leo. And last but not least, you're not telling everybody about this until it comes to fruition because you don't want to jinx it. That's part of that, too, holding that in protective energy. And we have the judgment card. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection. Something that you thought was done off the table or over with is now bringing itself back around either in a brand new opportunity or in the opportunity that you thought you couldn't get. Now it's showing up. So something being brought back, fully restored. In the best possible way. Ooh, we have the star card again. How wonderful, Leos. This is your beautiful Aquarius Major Arcana. The star card is the energy of your soul's desire being told yes by the universe. So it's basically your wish being granted. Isn't that magnificent? Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. That's the energy of looking backwards at some regrets, getting too kind of too far down into the negative nostalgia. Don't let yourself get lost in that because we're trying to manifest the future and you can't do it from looking at the past. Saying focus on what you believe, what you think about, what you create. This is to all believers, which means what you believe shall be done unto you. And the Magician, Master Manifester. So when this lightning strike energy comes in, it's usually the result of very focused energy here. And it allows you to have what you need. Suddenly, it may be an inspiration that comes into your mind. It could be something that just shows up. Uh, we'll allow anything that, that is in alignment. And, and however it shows up, we accept and receive it gratefully. And we have the Empress. This is the feminine energy, divine creative source itself. And you've got the three seraphim pouring a double portion. So this ought to be a very good harvest as you move forward in the creating of it. And the King of Pentacles. So this is a really good financial offer or stability being given to you. That's going right along with that Nine of Pentacles. So we'll take that King of Pentacles. And a contract or official document being given. This is a really good thing. Whatever you're trying to achieve here. Some of you may be doing something to get a cert certified energy or a certified uh, graduating through. You know, this is that time of year where we're moving into the graduations. This is a definite certificate or official document. So whatever this is that you're trying to master, you, you're getting the confirmation of that mastery. And the lovers. So the Gemini Major Arcana of the lovers is all about harmony. The masculine and feminine being in a place of alignment with your higher self. And what you're doing in this lifetime. And for some of you, it is the energy of a relationship. Ooh, hey, we've got the, the aquamarine jumped off there. We've got the energy of connection and the ability to be in the place that you want to be in. Even though it's not the timing you want it in, it looks like you're on your divine path. Yep. 
Eight of Cups. This is a yes for you to be able to move forward. It's now time to take that leap into the Sun card energy, which is the perfect alignment. You've passed the, the test. You're now through all the gauntlet and you are ready. And here comes the abundance, the Knight of Pentacles. So the money's already been set aside and allotted for you and your success in that energy of the Ten of Cups. It's telling you continue to do the right thing. Make the next right step. Don't take shortcuts. Don't try to, to zhuzh something. Just do the right thing and you'll be just fine. Pay attention to the details and you'll receive double for your effort. And we have your Leo queen, fire sign queen here. Now, it's not that it has to be a masculine or feminine like a man or a woman. When we're in the feminine, we're talking about fertility. And this is the fertility of work and action and the ability to do it. So we love that this comes in, the queen of wands here for you. As you are restored, if you have your own business, it means you may have a revitalization of that particular thing going on. So my Leo friends, I send you lots of love lots of light and my gosh if you could have any better cards i don't know what they would be because you've got this beautiful aquarius major arcana that showed up multiple times you also have the energy of the completion of cycle so you have the ten of cups the beautiful sun card the ability to take advantage and move forward with the eight of cups the resurrection energy the abundance coming in as you manifest it yourself and everything looks like it's moving to assist you in this divine orchestra of creating the outcome you choose just don't take shortcuts and don't let yourself get off focus the meditation was a big message at the beginning as well so if you don't meditate please begin because that's what the universe is telling you if you connect that's how you get into the wavelength of being in this frequency so that you may receive it. And remember, last but not least, your belief is what you, what you set your compass for. So if you don't like where you are now, change your compass, change your belief, focus on what you do want, and it will be done. Many blessings to you, my Leo friends. Love, light, peace, happiness, joy, and abundance, and divine prosperity and healing to you all. I'll see you again in the middle of the month. Namaste, my friends.